the Imperial County Office of Education, in partnership with the Imperial Valley College, held Tech de Mayo, a teaching and technology conference at IVC on May 2nd. 200 local educators were treated to a day filled with exciting professional development opportunities. Local teachers, guest presenters, and a keynote speaker shared successful practices and strategies, highlighting the potential of technology to improve instruction and better prepared students for successful futures both in higher education and the global workforce. What's exciting about this conference is this is about what is happening in classrooms in Imperial County and really the conference is focused on how do we share those best practices, those, those innovative strategies for using technology in the classroom with other teachers so that we can impact other students in the county. Uh, the session I just finished up was called Future Ready Schools and basically it's, it's what I was able to get done with my team in one school year. 365 days from November to November and all the things we deployed, we deployed Minecraft, 3D printers, uh, better PD, going to um, events like Fall Q, Spring Q, Q Rockstar. I'm saying Q a lot, but that's cool. The students are learning how to use kind of real world kind of situations where they would find the electronic devices in the real world and we kind of build them the basic versions and we incorporate a lot of, like I said, technology and programming, um, design. I think it's a great conference. Uh, Imperial Valley is unique in the sense that you know a lot of people know each other. A lot of people have lived here for a long time. We have a special culture. So I think our, our event, the Tech de Mayo, brings that culture. We're able to share great ideas. We're able to showcase our great student work, uh, partner with other folks. Um, and it, it's really the collaborative work that we do um, helps us improve our teaching and learning at our schools. And I really like this class because I get to meet other people that like I wouldn't have been done before I've gotten a lot of friends I know how things work in my house like my uh, light, lights and stuff and I built a lot of projects and got to meet some cool people my impressions are all positive I think this is very well organized and a lot of variety for all the teachers that want to come and investigate uh, more technology for their classroom what I purposely came here for is to like a come on a field trip to different classrooms without having to go in my car and drive from here to Brawley to El Centro to Calixico. I don't have to go any place, it's all right here. We do outreach to kids that um, is bringing them the parks in their classroom and so we do standardized lessons that connect to the content that teachers are learning and we're trying to encourage kids to come out to parks and see them and be our future protectors of these really special stories in California. The new horizon for students is for us to give room for us to value what they want to learn. Everything has been completely content driven. You're going to learn this, you're going to learn this, and this is how we're going to test you. We've got to open up a door for students to learn whatever they want to learn and that means anything. And if we're going to grade that, we're going to value that because in education grading means valuing. If we're going to grade that we're going to have to figure out a way to not grade the content but grade the process of learning and that's why I'm here to try to introduce and uh, rekindle uh, the model school library standards for the state of California and a 21st century understanding of library services for our schools.